basketball, golf, rugby, basketball, rugby, basketball, rugby, basketball, golf. See what I'm doing? I'm doing rugby, basketball, golf, clap, rugby, basketball, golf, and now rugby, basketball, rugby, basketball, rugby, basketball, golf. Within your classroom, there are lots of things you can do. You can have the class into that one, two, three, rugby, basketball, golf, that kind of thing. You can do a single student rugby, basketball, golf, you know, just to give them more practice. But the students will learn those words in two minutes because of the rhythm. The rhythm is what's doing it. And it's also very beautiful. Now, that's nice. We learn three words. But so what? I mean, we want to do more than just learn three words in our classes. In fact, we want to do more than a simple vocabulary chant. Let's turn that thing into what I call a grammar chant. Meaning, we're going to add language to make it useful for grammar. What, now, what you want to do here is find a verb that would make sense with this. I'm going to use play. But you could use watch, love, hate, you know, think of a lot of words you could use to make sentences out of this. But I'm going to take play. So I'm going to take subject pronoun, he. I'm going to take simple present tense, because it's so very, very high frequency and difficult, and the S and no S and all that, you know, it's really hard, the construction of the simple present, and very important, very, very important. So I'm going to take he plays rugby. Do you want to give us he plays rugby? See what we're doing? Subject pronoun, he, plays, with the S, rugby. <coughs> Second one, she, plays, <coughs> basketball. So all I'm doing here is subject pronouns, he, she, reinforcing the S for simple present tense. It's very simple what I'm doing, but it's got grammar in it. And look at the third one, they, play, no S in the plural. See so what we've got? We've got a wonderful example of the simple present tense S, no S thing. We've got the subject pronouns, he, she, they. Plays, plays, no, play, no S in play, see? So now we have, again, a beautiful chant. He plays rugby, she plays basketball, they play golf, they play golf. Now I'm going to do, see what I'm doing? He plays rugby, she plays basketball, they play golf. They play golf. And I would suggest if you're working with children, it's fun to have them act out the thing. You know, so what would be a rugby act? Who can do a rugby something? Uh, what would you do? Yeah, good. Would you just stand up and show us your rugby thing? Everybody, let's follow him. Stand up, please, and show us your rugby. He plays. Okay, now everybody copy him. He plays rugby. Very good. Okay. Now, who wants to be basketball? Okay, will you, will you stand up and show us? She plays basketball. Okay, he plays rugby. She plays basketball. And you want the students to be acting it out. Again, the body language, see, the brain loves it. That also helps with the memory, the body movement. You don't have to have body movement, but it's fun and easy when you have something like this. And then they play golf. See, so you could be acting that out. So you would be chanting, he plays rugby, she plays basketball, they play golf, they play golf. He plays rugby, she plays basketball, they play golf, they play golf. He plays rugby, she plays basketball, he plays rugby, she plays basketball, he plays rugby, she plays basketball, they play golf, they play golf. Makes a beautiful, simple gesture. Nothing to it. Nothing to it. 